Oh, it's me, Gail Sam Possible. Me, guys, my name is Tanfrey16. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 160. It is Sunday, or maybe Saturday if you're watching us a day early on Patreon, for those of you all know. Patrons have the option to watch these as well as reaction videos up to a day early, sometimes more, uh, and you get your name in the description as well. But regardless of what day you were watching this on, let's go ahead and read some comments. The Get Back documentary was amazing. I watched like half an hour every day to make it last longer. I think you probably need to be a pretty big fan to love it because each episode is so long. Most of them is just them fucking about. Uh, but if you are, uh, and it's one of the best things to come out of 2021, fair enough. Yeah, I heard each episode's like three hours, so I don't know if that I have that kind of time, but... I might just look up a Best Bits thing on YouTube, to be honest, or somewhere else. I know you already said you planned to anyway, but I'm just here to say I'm looking forward to you continuing Gavin and Stacey and Black Mirror reactions. Gavin and Stacey will continue this month. Black Mirror, I don't know. Although sometime soon I may be able to re-upload the one from last month to YouTube. Uh, it depends. It's a possibility, though, we'll see. Yeah, I prefer to comment vids on Sundays. Nice to round the week off. You could also use the end of the video to remind us what's coming up uh, planned in the next week. Well, that's the thing. I don't really plan things that much in advance. I, I know what I'm doing, but, like, I don't have, uh, like, set days for anything unless I've already recorded it. Like, Black Books comes out tomorrow. That's as much as I can give you. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do think it's a good way to round out the week because we can do six straight reaction videos. And then this, it lines up pretty well. Sunday's a good day for reading your comments, a day of contemplation and reflection. Ah, and it's a good Christian day, and this is a good Christian channel, so there you go. I guess it's a possibility that the pilot of Open All Hours isn't protected by copyright, but the mainline series is, I guess we'll find out. I think the whole series is unprotected. I'm pretty sure BX Kid already did it, and he got the whole series on YouTube, so works for me. A Touch of Frost is great, ITV shows that who knows what the copyright would be, or they mix when it comes to copyright. Yeah, ITV is very wishy-washy. I don't entirely know what to expect from them on any given day. I, they're very unpredictable. Um, so they could be fine if it, they could not be. I honestly have no clue. I'll tell you what, though. I downloaded the first ever episode of A Touch of Frost, and they're like mini-movies. They're actually like full-size movies, to be honest. The first episode's like an hour 40 minutes. So I'm willing to do it, and I'm going to do it. I don't know about this month, but I'm going to do it. But here's the thing, whether or not I can get that on YouTube will probably determine whether or not I do more than one episode, because I'm not going to watch a full-length movie on the regular if I have to cut them into four parts and put them on daily motion. When you do the Faulty Towers Germans episode, could you try to use the unedited version? Well, I mean, I'm going to watch the unedited version, but I'm going to edit it. I'm going to censor the N-word in there, and I don't care if anyone has a problem with that or not. That's how it's going to happen. I'm not going to risk getting in trouble with daily motion to showcase some old man saying the n-word three times. That's just, that's just not gonna happen. In fairness to Mel, Eddie Hoffman did sing Hey There Lonely Girl in the same key. His falsetto didn't quite achieve the notes that Mel's did though. I did not see that coming at all. I'll tell you what, in that Ben and Dorm episode, I was like, maybe, I was thinking the plot was maybe he'd be a really good singer. And then the last second I was like, oh, well, maybe he'll be a bad singer. I didn't expect that though. That was, that was the last thing I expected. Do you live in the UK? No, I think you're looking for the postmodern family, but then again, so are everybody else, because they haven't uploaded in like five weeks. Any idea what day Misfits will be? Nope, like I said, I don't have set days. It'll be sometime this month, though. The bit in League of Gentlemen with kids smashing bottles at your feet, that was common practice when I grew up in the 90s. In England, chavs just randomly throw crap at you. But why? League of Gentlemen didn't want audience laughter. I think it was BBC's decision after Series 2 they had their way and got rid of it. Yeah, it was very off-putting. Like, you could argue it added to the element of the show in the sense that it, you know it's supposed to be a horror comedy, but then they've got a laugh track, and it's you could argue it's off-putting in a good way, but I also would have liked to have seen it without it. Did you ever watch the rest of Psychoville after the first one? No, I only saw the first one. I enjoyed it, but yeah, it kind of just, uh, it kind of just fell out of rotation for me. I'd, I'd be willing to go back to it in the future, though. I still remember, even though it was, like, so long ago, I still remember some of the episode. I very, at the, I at the very least remember the ending. That first round in Robot Wars was madness. The absolute balls to go after kill a lot after, has to be honored, though. Yeah, I mean, well, first off, that was one of the most even fights I've seen in the whole show. Maybe the most even fight I'd seen so far, that triple threat. Um, but I think the... Was it Wheelie Big Cheese? The, um... Yeah, I think so. The, uh... Robot Makers, I forget. I, it was probably... I want to say Developers, but... Uh, Roboteers, that's a good one. Um, Roboteers uh, were kind of full of shit. Because didn't they say it could lift over a ton? 
and it couldn't lift kill a lot, so... Suicidal Tendencies is also a thrash metal band song the download festival about 10 years ago. Ah, okay, that makes more sense as far as the name goes. That threw me off way when I saw that name, though. I'll tell you what. That, again, that's one of those where if they ever remade the show, I doubt they'd be allowed to use that in, in modern day times. I forgot Hugh Dennis was in My Hero, a pretty underrated as a sitcom. Yeah, what's even crazier, too, is, is it wasn't My Hero, like... A solid maybe at least eight years before outnumbered and he still looks exactly the same in both shows he aged incredibly well oh dear i thought i dreamt the show but it seems it actually did happen it does seem like a fever dream doesn't it a show where Dougal becomes a superhero why does my hero have to be on daily motion loads of the episodes are on youtube so i thought it wouldn't be a copyright issue yeah me too upon further investigation though it seems episode the first series used to be on youtube and then got blocked but episode but series two through six are still on youtube so maybe if I end up getting to Series 2, then I can start putting it, on, putting it on YouTube? I guess we'll find out. Funny how an outnumbered Karen and Pete have a conversation about electing the Prime Minister uh, when the next general election happened and David Cameron became Prime Minister during the series. That number was postponed a week. The BBC can show coverage. It's also funny how they elected David Cameron and Pete made that joke about somebody talking to a tree. That's the most important thing of all, winning the trust of people that have put their trust in us, many of them for the first time, and Boris will have my full support as he does that. Well, I don't know why he's talking to a tree. Tav especially enjoyed this because he got a free tour of London. Yeah, there you go. I can check that off the bucket list. The reason why Motorhead were in the Young Ones episode and why every episode featured a musical app, oh, every episode, really, is actually pretty simple. Under BBC rules back in the day, if a show featured a musical act, it would be categorized as a variety show, which in those days meant they were given a slightly bigger budget. Ah, okay. That's fucking smart. I just like to imagine being Motorhead and getting that call. It's like, okay, you want us to perform on what now? It's like, well, we can't really explain it, but just just get down here, we'll pay you well. And everyone's like, okay. The Young Ones was a groundbreaking show and one of the most important comedies of all time, although, and this might be an unpopular opinion, it hasn't aged especially well. The average episode tends to be a bit of a mixed bag. However, uh, this episode, Bambi, is when everything comes together like lightning in a bottle, the writing, the slapstick, the practical effects, the cameos, plus Motorhead. Sheer chaotic brilliance, uh, I wish they were all as great as this one. Well, I can't judge the other episodes. Episodes, uh, as I haven't seen them yet. Uh, as I'm recording this, though, the first episode's doing very well early on. It's actually doing better than Outnumbered did on its launch, so uh, good chance I'll do more. In terms of order for the young ones, I'd suggest watching series one, uh, episodes one and two in order as they connect. Okay. Watch the final episode last as it does has re does have a resolution to the series. Other than that, you're right, that random order should be fine. Okay, well thank you for letting me know. I'll keep that in mind. I don't think the young ones is even owned by the BBC anymore. Uh, I know it's been on many different channels in the past. I'm trying to work out which company, uh, try and block it as a nightmare so they probably leave it well alone. Here's the thing. Well, that one scene was owned by the BBC, the one where Vivian loses his head, and I think the reason that one scene is, is much like the Peter Capaldi scene from Rab Rabsy Nesbitt, uh, I think the BBC made some kind of like best of the BBC compilation thing, or BBC best bits, a while back, and those two scenes were included in it, so only those scenes were protected. Interestingly enough, the sketch where they're on the University Challenge is owned, according to the copyright claim, by Comic Relief which is interesting. I don't know if it was repurposed for Comic Relief later on, but Comic Relief apparently owns the sketch word on University Challenge. Uh, no copyright claim on the Motorhead song, interestingly enough, but I'll take it. All right, y'all, let's get into it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. The comments in this video were pulled from seven different videos. Last week's episode of Reading Your Comments, 159, American Rex to Ben Dorm 8, uh, The League of Gentlemen, Robot Wars 8, My Hero, Outnumbered 15, and The Young Ones. Uh, so, if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, there are seven more videos you can comment on. This video, uh, my second reaction to Desmond's, which came out yesterday, my seventh reaction to Black Books, which comes out tomorrow, the video on Tuesday, the video on Wednesday, and the video on Thursday. Those are the videos to comment on if you want to get, get a chance to get your comment read next week's episode of Reading Your Comments. But, that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel for extended views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, or my Daily Motion, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to us. I'm currently recording all 103 of my Patreons, so you can support me on my channel. For those of you who don't know, you can be a Patreon on me for as little as one dollar or one pound. You get access to direction videos, as well as reading your comments up to a day early, and you get your name in the description as well. Also, in the description is linked to the community of Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch Foz channel, with all that being said, though. My name is Taffer Steen. This has been another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 160, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
I don't know why he's talking to a tree. 